For multiplying and dividing with negatives and positives, what we want to do is just do multiplication and division like normal, and then just count the negatives at the end. So 5 times 3 for the first one would be 15. Then there's one negative, the answer is negative. Because two negatives are going to make a positive with multiplying or dividing. And then one negative is going to make it negative. So for the next one here, this seems multiplying. So 2 times 5 would be 10. And there's two negatives, so let's make a positive. The one after it, we're dividing 100 by 2, which would be 50. And again, two negatives here would make a positive. 7 times 10 would be 70, but this time only one negative, so negative 70. 10 divided by 5 would be 2, and then only one negative on the 5, so a negative 2. 12 times negative 2 would be negative 24, because it's 12 times 2 is 24, with the one negative there makes it negative. And then 24 divided by 6 would be 4, one negative again makes it negative. And then 12 divided by 3 would be 4, with two negatives makes it a positive 4. That's how we do multiplying and dividing. Just do your multiplying and dividing like, like normal, and then do count your number of uh, negatives. One negative makes the answer negative for multiplying and dividing, and two negatives.